Now I want to go a little bit into a little bit into where all of this is coming from. And I know some of this is review for people that have gone through this. But it, I still think for people that don't know, this is important to understand these things. This is a dollar bill, which is the uh, now devalued dollar bill. And on the back of the dollar bill, there's a seal on this side. It's called the Great Seal of the United States. That's what it's called. It's their seal. Now, behind the seal, this is actually what is behind the Great Seal of the United States, is a pyramid with one eye. Now, the one eye is the sun god, Ray, which is where we get the word Ray, sun rays. It is the sun god, same Mithraic character, and he shows up again and again. This is the Masonic god of the, the Ray. If you look, you'll see the pyramid is built except for the top. It's built except for the top. The eye is suspended above the top. It hasn't come down yet. Because they believe until they finished the Masonic project, which is the, the, what they say on the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then Annuata Chapters, he is pleased with our project. In other words, the God they believe in is pleased with our project. What is the project? This is the question. What is the project that this God is pleased with? The project is literally the secularization of the world. To completely strip the world from religious beliefs. This is the project. And that is why it is called Novus Ordo Seclorum. A new secular or worldly order. If you translate that into Arabic, it would be a Nizam al Alami al Dunyawi. Not al Jadid. It would be a Dunyawi. The new temporal order. The new order of the world. And we know what Dunya is in Arabic. Dunya has a negative connotation in Islam, unlike Alam, which does not have a negative connotation. If you read the Quran, Alam is not a negative connotation. Rabbul Alameen, Allah is Lord of the Alameen. We are part of the Alam. The Alam is the passive form of Alim. It's what is known. It is how we know Al Alim. The world is how we know Allah. We don't know Allah through Dunya. Dunya is the, the illusory nature of the world. It's the gharura, it's the aspect of the world that deludes you, thinking that you're permanent, thinking that you can transgress, thinking that you're independent from Allah. This is the dunya. This is why the wife is not considered dunya, and the husband for the wife is not considered dunya. And food in order to keep your body healthy is not considered dunya. Money in order to work and spend on the halal and do your uh, responsibilities, none of those things by Islamic understanding are considered dunya. Dunya is the illusory element of the world. It's that element that takes people away from the akhirah. And this is shaitan's game. Shaitan's game is to take people away. Shaitan means to make distant. Dunya is near. He makes us feel that dunya is what is close, not akhirah. Islam tells us dunya is distant. One of the root meanings of dunya is to reach out for grapes that you can never grasp. Because this is the nature of dunya, you will never be able to get it. It will always evade you. The Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith sahih that's in the Riyadh al-Sariheen, he said, if the, the son of Adam, لو كان لبن آدم جبر من الذهب, if the son of Adam had one mountain of gold, he would only want a second one. لا يمنع فاء ابن آدم إلا تراب قبره. Nothing will fill. Or لا يشبع ابن آدم. Ibn Adam will never be satiated. His mouth will never be filled except with the dust of his own grave. This is a deluded person. لا يغرنك بالله الغرور. Don't let the deluder delude you. Don't let the deluder delude you. Don't let him think that this dunya is what is important. The message of Islam is the akhirah is important. Because you are muqbirun ala al-akhirah, mudbirun ala dunya We are heading towards the akhirah. We are heading away from the dunya. The akhirah in Arabic is called ajila because it only is realized through the ajal. Everybody has an appointed ajal. We have an appointed ajal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, spend now from what Allah has given you. In other words, get rid of the dunya now. Spend now. Get rid of it now. So it benefits you later. 
and don't be deluded by it. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, because when the ajal comes, what's the human being going to say? Rabbi, if you just let me go back, delay this ajal, let me go back to the dunya. You're in akhirah now. Let me go back to the dunya. فَأَصَدَّقَ I'll get rid of that dunya. I won't keep it in my pockets and I'll be from the people of righteousness. The Allah will not delay this ajal. Allah will not delay it. When it comes to the nafs, Allah will not delay it. This is what the shaitan wants to make people believe. This is what the dunya wants to make people believe. That when you go into the malls, right, in America, the malls literally are telling people there's no time. You see, it's like Disneyland. If you go to Disneyland, which is part of the importing of the American religion, Mickey Mouse is probably going to be with the idols in, in hell, burnt, like these other idols. Because it's the seal of goodness in their, in their deen. If you go to Disneyland in the United States, it says, you leave today. You leave today and enter the world of yesterday and tomorrow. What is that? That's delusion. People live in the past and the future. Muslims are people live in the present. Right? We remember, we, we remember now. Zikr is not remembering the past. It's remembering Allah, which Allah is reality. Allah has no past and no future. Allah is reality. This is what Muslims remember. We remember quite literally the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is with you wherever you go with His knowledge. This is the dhikr of the Muslims. We literally remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? We do dhikr to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These other people drink liquor to forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? We go to this dhikr store. They go to their liquor store to drink up and forget. We go to our dhikr store, which is the heart, to remember Allah, not to forget. They want to forget because it's too painful. Once they start seeing things, they did a study, Omni magazine in the United States. 80% of the people in their study that meditated, they closed their eyes, turn off the radio, turn off the TV, turn off the music. 80% had anxiety attack. The Prophet said, Consider yourselves already dead people. In other words, wake up now. This is what Deen of Islam is to wake up. This is the the, the, the Dajjal system of which the pyramid is coming near to their completion. Really, they really feel that it's very close. They're talking about world government, world federation. In our lifetime, we've seen entering into countries and completely dissing the sovereignty of these countries without any respect for national sovereignty. That, that never happened historically. This is a world police. They're saying we're policing the world, right? And there's hadith in Tabarani about the armies of the Dajjal wearing blue hats, blue helmets. The meanings become manifest and this is the nature, this is what we know, we know the reality, they don't know it. They're being deluded, they're sleeping. People are asleep and when they die they wake up.